During the plunger enhanced chamber lift process, the well continuously flows from the outer annulus. The process begins with the plunger at the bottom of the well. The accumulated liquid is evenly dispersed at the bottom, above the end of the tubing. Gas is injected to increase pressure in the inner annulus. When the injection stops, the production tubing valve opens briefly to relieve pressure in the production string. The liquid in the inner annulus then U-tubes into the production tubing string. The tubing valve closes for a short time, allowing the plunger to reposition itself under the slug. The tubing valve and injection valve open concurrently. The plunger begins its ascent, pushing the slug toward the surface. The plunger arrives at the surface with the slug, and the injection valve closes. After a period of time, the equalizing valve opens, equalizing surface pressure to all strings. Flow begins in the inner annulus. We are now producing from all strings simultaneously. Eventually, fluid begins to accumulate in the bottom of the well, evenly across all three strings. After a period of time, the production tubing valve closes and the plunger falls toward the bottom. Flow continues from both the inner and outer annulus. When the plunger arrives at the bottom, the injection process resumes. Flow continues from the outer annulus and the process repeats. <laughs>